<laughs> Tristan, thank you very much for holding the fort while we're trying to fend off these gremlins. Anyway, the signal seems to be back. Um, I've just positioned on the dam wall now, so we're still quite a distance from the leopard, but at least we've got signal. Um, and he hasn't moved. He hasn't moved, but what, a, what an interesting spot he has chosen to lie, lie on. And you can see where we are compared to some of the other vehicles. Now, Shelly, you asked how often does a leopard need to feed? It all depends, Shelly. Much like the lions, it depends on the size of the prey that they have caught. Um, uh, leopards are very opportunistic, though, Shelly. So, if a leopard, for example, hunted something like an impala, which is usually their preferred meal, they tend to hunt a lot of impala because it's a perfect size for a single leopard. Um, it may take them two days, two or three days to feed on an impala. Um, and then they won't have to hunt for another two or three days. But I've seen leopards kill two or three impala, um, young impala, and hoist them in different trees and move from one kill to the other. Um, so if the opportunity is there, they will hunt and they will kill and they will feed on, on whatever they catch. Um, if it's a large kill, something like an inyala perhaps or a kudu, probably feed a lot longer and then won't have to feed again for a few more days but I would say on average Jenny I mean it's difficult but on average I would say at least twice a week a, a substantial meal is required they also don't want to starve themselves and get too hungry isn't isn't he beautiful I could sit here for I could sit here for ages and watch him uh, apparently the rest of you viewers um, agree with me that this is Hosanna, young Hosanna, that young male leopard that we've been fortunate enough to watch grow up a little bit. Um, I say a little bit because he's not quite fully grown yet. He will still get bigger. Um, he is about a year and a half old now, this leopard. He was born on Juma, so it's been wonderful to see this male and his sibling, a female, his young sister, also grow up and she is still around we do still see her from time to time she's referred to as Shungile you can hear the hippo behind me um, and it's wonderful to see that this leopard has managed to to feed himself he's actually been quite successful he's caught a number of antelope already and parlor kills so he's done very well and he he looks fairly fairly well fed. He doesn't look hungry at the moment, put it that way. Um, so he has done very well for himself. Always nice to see young leopards grow up and move around a bit. And now what this leopard has been doing is he's been exploring quite a bit. So he's no, he's, I suppose we could call him nomadic. He's still very much in his mother's territory and he's extended it a little bit but he's not territorial yet he's just moving around trying to establish himself um, but he's not big enough or strong enough or experienced enough to start scent marking and setting up his own territory so he'll move around and um, and explore the the area that's basically what he's doing getting to know the area where's the water best place to potentially look for food This has been a great afternoon for Tristan and I. Uh, we, we actually haven't had to work very hard today. The lions have been on that kill. Um, and then fortunately someone else spotted this leopard and let us know. And we now in a position where we don't really have to move around too much. We can just sit and wait and maybe he decides to get up and move around. Who knows? Maybe even come for a drink. Wouldn't that be great? So I think because we haven't seen a leopard um, I might just spend most of the afternoon with him, or the rest of the afternoon with him, and see what he does. He could just lay there for a while, but these young leopards do tend to be a little bit more active. They do move around from time to time. 
Look at that head up. It's probably her Egyptian geese. <coughs> Mary, you asked if uh, if I had a cat scent mark on one of our tires. Not on, no, I haven't. However, I watched the lion once um, turn and spray a bush, and what he <laughs> there was a there was a vehicle there was a vehicle that was parked close to the bush. And this lion, with him turn, turning and scent marking, he actually sprayed, and the tracker was sitting on the back of the vehicle. Um, and I think a tracker and one of the guests got a little bit of spray or scent on them. <laughs> that was quite funny to see, but I've only seen that once. I wonder what he's seen now. I'm trying to have a look around, but there's probably a lot of movement down there. Like I said, I heard Egyptian geese and that, and he's just peering down into the drainage line. So there's possibly some birds moving down there. I'm just going to scan with my binoculars and see. Well, I didn't see anything moving down there at the moment. It's also, it is quite thick though, and the leopard's eyesight is much, much better than ours. They'd be able to pick up on any bit of movement or animal in the distance much better than we could. Can hear a pearl spotted owl calling in the distance further down the drainage. We're going to have to try and find one of the, uh, well, some of them, some more owls for our list. <laughs> 